Ave gentle beings, welcome to Poland Democratic Playthrough and we're in the war against communist Russia. Uh, the Russians wanted Eastern Poland and we said heck no. So we had our armies in place, we had three 24 infantry armies uh, lined up from north to south with the border and now the war has broken out and the Allies are coming to our defense. They're rushing in from uh, the west. And the first thing we need to do is make sure they don't break through to the mainland, which is easy to do. We've already got the armies in place. Um, we do gotta keep an eye on the manpower. We're very low on manpower, so we can't push too much. You don't want to run out of manpower. Actually, uh, untraining uh, some tr uh, some troops here, so we can get them back into the manpower pool. But um, at the same time, Russia declared war on Finland. Oh, this is interesting. There's a uh, fleet battle, and we actually sink, I think, everything they have, which is very nice. But the Finns, the Finns are in trouble with Russia pushing through. But we got a mountaineer army ready, and I've sent that up to the north, where they're doing some excellent work pushing back the communists. As you can see, we're still only in the spring of 1940, so uh, it's still mid-game. That is all very good. Uh, of course, always proceed with re research. Yada yada yada, come on. You don't want to flip over all your industry to the new weapons. Uh, it'll give you a weapon lag. And this is annoying because you'll end up with a lot less produced and you'll run possibly run out of weapons. Right, so our Mountaineer Corps uh, armies are marching down uh, Finland, saving the Finns butt there. Some nice research on whatever we need at the time. Right, so we got Leningrad which is very nice. Uh, the Russians, of course, have three major centers. Leningrad in the north, Moscow in the middle, and Stalingrad in the south. If you take them all, um, you've pretty much won the war. So, now we got a chance here that the Russians didn't defend too well. So I'm pushing from Finland from through Stalingrad to the south. They're rushing in troops, but not fast enough. So, and that means that from our middle uh, or a bit north on the Polish bo Polish uh, Russian border, we can push through and maybe get an encirclement going, which is nice. Um, I once in a while flip down to see how it's going in the south. What you can see is that um, from Romania in, the Allies make nice inroads as well. Um, that draws off troops. That is very much uh, wanted and needed. I've got a uh, cavalry corps ready to do suppression. So once we take the, the Russian states, you don't want to leave him empty. You get party sense and that's annoying. They'll demolish roads and do nasty things to your factories which is uh, not helpful in our case. So now we got a new uh, recruitment law in place and we're getting way more uh, cavalry for suppression and getting finally into a motorized division, which is nice. So, getting those ready, 
and there goes Japan and Japan <laughs> goes in from the east which is very welcome in our case because every front that opens up is a front um, they'll need manpower to send to and there's only so much manpower they have so that gives us a chance to actually start to push in no aggression if you want so in this case by the way the Japanese did not get into the Axis so while we defeated the, the Germans we did not end up in a war with the Japanese which is uh, quite nice and <coughs> useful in this in this case no. so we'll need to reorder the lines uh, when you make progress that tends to get a bit messy so I'll straighten that up and you'll see the Allies landing in the south um, they're coming in through the Black Sea and of course our main focus is still up north because we want to encircle them there we go so we got a nice chunk of the Russian army encircled yes and we did that with foot troops so that still can be done and now we just say head east and it's uh, pretty much a long slog and as we go we get our suppression troops in line I've moved the game up to maximum speed because we're at the on the winning hand. And what I'm trying to do here, or did do, is trying to make highways so we can get the supply going, reposition the airplanes. So now we're gonna <coughs> well it's just keep on pushing all the way um, the Russians are losing losing big time and there's no way they can come back they're fighting the major powers at this point in the world um, France England and Poland at this point Poland is a big power and we have won and um, one way to make sure that the Russian communists are never gonna bother you again as Poland and this alternate history is to take a lot of land from them and that's what I'm doing here um, We were as Poland so much the winner that we just could draw a line from Leningrad to south uh, east and just grab all the land. Um, Poland, I'm um, sorry, the, the three big countries, uh, states with Leningrad, Moscow, and Stalingrad, we could just all take them. And from this point on out, it's uh, actually quite a boring game. Um, we could go to war with uh, Japan but I don't think that's very interesting as play playing with a uh, land-based country um, with we, when, you, when your armed forces are all basically food sluggers and the Navy is non-existent so that my friends is how Poland won the war against the communists in 1940. See you all next time.